Hey fam, so today's uh, reading is Hebrews 6 through 9. And um, it ends in chapter 9 with just, it's not really a warning, but it's a statement that um, that is it appointed for you to die once, and after that comes judgment. And then it begins this this section in chapter 6 with a warning that uh, those who have um, have tasted the um, the life of salvation um, and have rejected it are no longer redeemable um, and th- that's a scary and serious thing um, I mean what it's saying is is if um, you've if you've said you're a Christian or you believed you're a Christian and you've walked away from that, um, that you are no longer redeemable, is what it says. Um, And so for those of us that know people in that situation, we need to pray for them and um, ask God to have mercy um, on them so that um, he will change his mind. Like, uh, um, like Lot in the city of Sodom and Gomorrah, whittle God down and, you know, all the way down to 10 people. Yeah, if there's 10 people in that city, then I won't destroy it. And, uh, if you know somebody <clears throat> that's in that situation, you need to pray for them with that earnestness. Well, what does it take for us? I mean, you know, it takes two things, according to the writer of Hebrews in chapter 6, to make it to that end goal of um, salvation and death uh, and eternity and peace, is what he calls faith and patience. Um, So patience is what struck me this morning, is because... We go through all these challenges that do uh, make us question our own faith or the reality of God or the reliability of the scriptures. And um, you may struggle with any one of those things or all three of them. And so you have to walk patiently through life and with faith, right? Just trusting that the scriptures are true, that God is good. That even though I don't feel like it, I am saved. And there are answers for all three of those throughout the scriptures. And we've seen some of them as we've read through them. Um, And if you've sat with me reading through the entire Bible, you've um, seen answers to all three of those. Because that's what scripture is. Um, It has the answers for all of life's questions. So those, those are kind of the bookends of chapter 6 through chapter 9. The middle of it just talks about how Jesus is the answer for that, that Jesus is a high priest who's better than uh, the high priests before. He, he's a sacrifice that um, fulfills um, all of the sacrifices, so that sacrifice is no longer necessary. And the this high priest sacrifice ushered in the new covenant through his blood. And um, he is no longer um, when the when the when the high priest would make the sacrifices, he would go into the holy of holies. He would have to cleanse himself. He'd go into the holy of holies, make the sacrifice, come back out, and have to do it all over again. Well, Jesus, um, being the perfect high priest, uh, went into the holy of holies, which is before the throne of God. And, and sacrificed himself, and he remains seated at the right hand of God in the Holy of Holies still. So he's our perfect and better high priest that made the perfect sacrifice and doesn't have to leave the Holy of Holies. He is enthroned in the Holy of Holies. And this is the amazing God um, that we can have faith in and have patience through life uh, because of knowing him.